stuffed peppers with a creamy, cheesy wine bechamel sauce. First, get your pound of hamburger, brown it up. Now, don't add water this time. We're going to want that fond at the bottom and that grease from the hamburger still in the pan. Grab a different pan while your meat's cooking. Add a cup of beef broth or beef stock. Next, add a, another cup of tomato sauce. Now, a cup of rice. If you want your rice in your stuffed pepper to be a little bit more on the creamy side and not so dry, add another half cup of tomato sauce. Next, once that's all mixed up, include your ground beef. Give it a nice good stir. Turn the heat up and get it to a boil. Nice. Okay, next put the lid on. Put it on a medium low, low heat for 20 minutes. Next, we're gonna take the pan that had your beef in it and we're going to deglaze it with a little bit of wine. Stir it around, get all that stuff off of the bottom. We call that flavor. Next, a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch instead of flour. Flour would work just as well, but I want to use cornstarch. Okay, mix that in, and we're going to need a couple of tablespoons of butter. This will create our roux. Same thing as with flour, just cornstarch. Okay, keep on mixing that up. Get your roux formed. You're not going to want this to get too dark brown. I'm going to add a little bit more wine, and then slowly we're going to add a cup to a cup and a half of half and half and or cream I mean you could use low fat milk if you want but okay and just add a little bit at a time okay that way it incorporates and mixes well and you don't want it to get too thin if you add a little bit at a time you have more control add a teaspoon of salt keep stirring now cheese your choice I'm using an Italian shredded about a half cup or so to a cup depending on how cheesy you want it that on the back burner get your rice ready and turn your oven to 350 degrees we're gonna wash our bell pepper here now I'm gonna freeze the rest of the rice mixture so I'm only using one bell pepper because it's just me and my wife eating tonight cut your bell pepper open take out all the white parts and all the seeds rinse the inside out with water if you need to there we go now get a casserole dish or something that will help keep the peppers stable and on their side or, you know so they don't tip over okay now get your rice mixture and we are going to fill the peppers yes I know I'm using the top of one bell pepper my wife doesn't eat the pepper she eats the rice out of it so I figured waste not want not there we go now just go ahead pack those up as tightly as you can press down in there there we go okay once you got that add the bechamel wine cheesy bechamel uh, or I could just call it gravy I think my French ancestors pooped their pants if they knew that but yes add your cheesy wine gravy yum yum okay just as much as you want next I add cheese on top I'm going to be using Swiss you can use cheddar or whatever your preference is here but I think Swiss goes along better there we go one two slices All right now um, we're gonna stick it in that 350 degree oven for 30 minutes and pull it out nice cheesy bubbly if you want the top to be a little bit more golden brown just leave it in the oven for three to five more minutes with the broil on now we're going to take some serving spoons and we are going to present put it on the plate and you will be ready to serve it up to your family and eat um, turn this around and I'll give you a good look at it here and there we go voila Happy eating. If you like this video, watch one of my other ones. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time on Randy's Family Kitchen.